Welcome to another Azure Guy video where hands on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, as well as an Azure solutions architect. Welcome to question number five resource constraints. Create a resource quota named app under the namespace rq demo. Use a file named rq.yaml. Create a new pod that exceeds the limits of the resource quota by defining one gig, one gig of memory. Note the error. Change request limits to a field requirements to ensure that the pod can be created successfully. All right, the first thing we wanna do is create a resource quota. So I went to our good friend documentation put in resource quotas in the search, and I'm gonna click here. And ideally, you'd like to see a really simple YAML file that we could use for this. But I could tell you, we're not gonna find a really great simple one. So basically, what I try to do is create a YAML, and then run a command very much like this. So we're not dead in the water yet to answer the question. We'll just use a kubectl create quota command. And one of the reasons I have the help is I cannot spell the word quota for the life of me. Q U O T A. And we'll do help. And here we have a nice little example of what we want. So that works out really well for us. So, quota, we want to call it app. And then we're going to go with. The values hard equals CPU equals one. Then we're going to do memory equals 500 M. And then I think we want to do pods equal to two. And we're going to type this out to YAML into a file called RQ5. YAML. kubectl uh, create coda. Oh, we got forgot the drive run. Also forgot YAML. There we go. Uh, oh, I forgot How about that. All right. So now the question comes to: Can I create the RQ five? Oh, we forgot one thing. Didn't we? I forgot the namespace. Equal to R Q demo. There we go. Now we're rolling. Okay. So now the question is can I create a resource quota in a namespace that does not exist yet? So let's see. I'm not sure why I hit the up arrow there. Create slash F RQ5 YAML. That really should not have worked. I'm, I don't know if I have the namespace already created. Let's see, cube CTL get Q U quota Q U O T A namespace equal to RQ demo. I 
bet you that's what it is. I bet you had this name space already. Yeah. So, yeah. So, the answer to the question should have been you cannot create uh, the name space. It has to exist there. But I had the name space. So, no, no big deal. If you don't have the name space, uh, the command to create the name space, you should find... I believe it's in this documentation here. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. That's the command to create the namespace. All right, so here we go. We got our we got our quota. A couple other commands to learn to know would be in here as well. Uh, you can use a get quota, which I used right here, and you can see. Right now we're using zero of the one CPU, zero of the 500, and we're using zero pods right now. Uh, they can also do a little better one, this one right here to describe. So kubectl, let's do a clear screen. kubectl describe quota app. Space equals RQ demo, and then you can actually see what you're actually using. So, uh, pretty, pretty good. We're uh, on our way to answering this question successfully. Okay, the next step we want to make sure we have is uh, we're going to create a new pod that exceeds its limits. So uh, let's go ahead and say, let's get rid of this. All right, create. Actually, we want to say kubectl run, and we're going to call it they don't specify a name, so we'll call it high pod, and we'll use image of nginx, and we'll do a dry slash run equals clients dash o yaml, piping it out to q5 yaml. And can we throw in a namespace in here? Let's see. I have not worked with namespaces much, so let's see. Namespace, we want to call it RQ demo. Let's see what we get. Unknown flag image. Uh, all right, we get easy fix there. Let's go take a look at our Q, well, we call it Q5. Oh, yeah, there we go. And I think it looks pretty good. Didn't really put our namespace in there, did it? I don't see where it's defined. Uh, I'm pretty sure it goes right here. But let's say you didn't know. So let me just type it in. Name space R RQ demo. A uh, a pretty good site on here is config pods. And here you have you're gonna have examples of all these different figure in the pod. Uh, I just happen to know if I go to this one, it's gonna have a namespace example for me. So namespace, and here it goes right under metadata. So it looks like we did that correctly. Did I put a colon in there? Yes, I did. All right. So 
Next thing we want to do is add some pods resource requirements to our pod. And look at that. There's some examples for us. And we're going to be doing requests. And, uh, let's see if we got even a better one. Request memory. Resources, request memory. Just like to have one for CPU, so we get it exactly right. But uh, let's do this. Let's do resource. What were we were before? So I'm gonna go back, 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 and. No, nope, let's go. I'm, I'm a little lost here for a second, but let's actually go to. Do they have a pod in here? Yes, here we go. Perfect example right here. All right. So let's bring this up. Uh, get rid of resources. And we want to do requests. REQ. Memory is going to be one gig. And CPU going to be 500M. So we're going to request a C, uh, pod of one gig. I better make that a big G or I don't think it's going to work. And it's gonna fail. So that looks good. We'll do a save. Minimize, minimize, minimize. And let's go ahead and try to create our pod. There we go. And forbidden, which is excellent. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and change our YAML to something that is allowed. So say, well, yeah, let's say, so go back to 500M. Save. And our pod is created, which is good, good, good. So if you go back to our describe quota, you can see now we're using uh, 500 of the one memory and pods. So we're doing pretty, pretty, pretty good there. So uh, excellent. Thanks for watching. And we now have racking up our points now.